Hi everyone, welcome to Dynamo. In this video, I will be introducing the Dynamo CLI. The Dynamo CLI is a versatile tool that makes it easy to develop and deploy distributed inference applications. Here I will be demonstrating our run tool, which is the easiest way to start chatting with a model using our framework. And I will also be demonstrating our serve tool, which allows you to quickly prototype different inference configurations and deploy them for testing. So the quickest way to get started is with Dynamo Run. So in this case, Dynamo Run, and then your choice of model. Now Dynamo Run supports multiple different backends. So it supports CUDA, it supports Mistral RS, and you can also run it locally on your Mac as well. So in this case, we're using the Mistral RS back in for demonstration. So I could say, hello. Awesome. So once you're ready to configure your applications and, and do a bit more prototyping, you can start using Dynamo Serve. So Dynamo Serve, similar to this, um, you can tell in this, we have multiple different pre-built components that you can put together for your inference application. So we've provided you with an out of the box HTTP server, a processor, a worker, and a couple other components as well. So in this example, we'll deploy a simple example of aggregated serving. So as you can see in ag.py, we import our front end, which is our server, our processor, and then our VLLM worker component. And because it's in this format, you can simply just link them together to deploy. And we have the code provided for the front end processor and worker in the repository. And you can also pass in configurations to each piece via our YAML configuration. So our front end, we can set model endpoint port, processor has arguments, and the worker has arguments. And you can also set how many workers you'd like and other environment variable configurations as well. So running this is simple. We can just go back. Go to our examples, and we can do dynamo serve and then point towards our graph. So dynamo serve here is pointing towards the front end component, which is the top of the graph. And we're also passing in the configuration that we'd like to provide. So as you can see here, the HTTP server has started up and it is serving chat completions. And now our processor is spun up as well. And now we're just waiting for the VLM worker to come online. Awesome. So once it's loaded in, we can simply open up another terminal and use the same chat completions API that you're familiar with and curl the model. And there we go. Thank you very much.